Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel today. I'm at the Campbell's Covered Bridge to, to show you all the updates. Remember last time we was here, they actually was doing some work down here. So I've come back to show you all, do an update. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video at the end, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know you care and let me know you like it. Let's get this one started. Here's just the overlook of the Campbell Covered Bridge right here. Tells you a little bit about it. It says in the earliest times, the rock show up screen of the bridge was used as a ford until a flat bridge was built across Beaver Dam Creek. On Monday, August 24th, 1908, starting at 7 p.m., 20 inches of rain fell during the next 24 hours. This freshet washed out the bridge and the local residents again used the ford to cross. Charles Irwin Willis, uh, built the current 35 foot long bridge uh, by tw 35 foot long by 12 foot wide bridge, excuse me, on land by Alexander uh, Lafay. Natural lay of the land and then built the rest of the bridge to fit. The bridge is not uh, square or plumb. The bridge has four uh, truss on each side, uh, crisscross and braces with vertical tie rods uh, William Ho from Spencer Massachusetts Massachusetts excuse me I know I said that wrong uh, pretended his new truss design in 1840 and it was commonly used for railroad bridges the truss absorbs and transfers a passing vehicle's weight to the rock abundance abundance on each side of the bridge. The bridge was restored in 1964 though, with the corporation, uh, corporation of Crescent Community Club and again in 1990 by the Greenville County. In 1951, Pleasant Hill Road was actually rerouted around the bridge. In 1984, Campbell's Covered Bridge was closed to vehicle traffic. So since 1984, you have not been able to go across this bridge most likely on in the traffic. Now, downstream from the bridge, Mr. Campbell operated a corn grist mill in 1938. Joseph Daniel Smith built a new corn grist mill at the same site he built the dam of the rock show, about 75 feet upstream from the bridge. Drilling into the rock stabilized the dam structure. The dam created a mill pond, and the water was carried from the pond to the mill in a race fashion from 30-gallon steel barrels that passed through uh, that passed through the bridge abundant uh, abutment abutment i think i'm saying that right uh, originally the mill was powered by an overshot water wheel and later by a side shot turbine wheel with a vertical shaft the mill was closed in the 1950s the foundations of the mill and the smith's house are visible downstream of the bridge so we'll i don't know how Let's see where I'm at. I lost my place, sorry. In 1979, EO Productions filmed a scene here for the movie The Day of Judgment. The film was set in the early 1900s, including a scene of an avenging angel riding a horse out of the bridge to take, a just, to take justice. The bridge is often photographed and featured in the upstate Carolina tourism guides. And the only thing I really see that they updated, that they redone as far as the construction, was the guard, the rail guards up aside here, along the side of each each of the uh, bridge. Up here in this field, they have one, two, and three benches, four benches. There's one more up there that you can actually go in, set in, and look down over the bridge and the creek itself. So yeah, very nice. Wish you could drive over it. It'd be awesome to hear the old loud popping wood and stuff. They also have this little stone 
cheer lock here. Kind of takes you to the Flintstone days. And they have a stone bench there as well. Then they have some benches up there also. But yeah, this is pretty cool. We're gonna sit down here. I'm gonna show you what the view is. This right here, this pretty creek, Beaver Down Creek, Campbell's Covered Bridge right there. Just think about how pretty all the trees and things will be during the fall time behind the bridge. Man, that's beautiful. Okay, I'm not sure if this is what they're talking about on the sign down there about the, the old grist mill. This might be the ruins of it left. What's left of it could be. I read the sign down here. There's another sign down here, but it didn't say nothing about the grist mill. So I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna have to go do some research on that maybe. But they have a picnic table up here. You can come and have a picnic. Looking over the creek and the bridge there. A couple benches, another picnic table down there as well. Then I don't, I don't remember these railings been here last time I was here, so I think they're kind of new. But you don't want to fall off there, of course. But that's beautiful. Right there in the creek, going down that way as well. But yeah, Campbell's Covered Bridge. I know this isn't a long video, but I wanted to come back and, like I say, and see the update if they finished it or not and they have it looks like it's beautiful pretty blooming tree there springtime's in the air also down here again not sure if these are the where the mill was or not i'm thinking this is the only thing i can see down here can't see no further the main roads right there so this has got to be it but yeah that's gonna do it for this one if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, get a big thumbs up. It lets me know you liked it. It lets me know you care. I post videos every Saturday, so stay tuned to the channel for new videos. And I'll see you in the next one.